Happy New Year! Welcome to my first proper vlog of the year. Um, I took some time off while I was home here in Ireland, but today is our last day. I can't believe it. We leave first thing in the morning from Dublin, so we have to leave like in the middle of the night tonight. I think we're gonna leave here at like 4 a.m. So today is like an organization day. I'm packing up my makeup. I have my case more or less packed. Um, so I'll like vlog the rest of the day. We have to go into Clarion to get our COVID test because you have to get them within 24 hours of you flying. So we're getting them this evening at four. And yeah, I'm pretty, pretty organized overall. Um, but while I was packing, I actually remembered that I have a good few like new bits that I got um, for Christmas that I never got a chance to show you because I obviously didn't vlog while I was home. I took a little break off so I figured I'd just show you a quick haul at the beginning of this vlog before I pack everything back in. I have a few more bits to go in, my case is already so full though but I have my hand luggage as well so we still have a little bit of room but I'll do a quick little haul and try on of some new bits because I want to show you before like they're gone or they sell out or whatever and then I'll vlog the rest of the day and I'll probably vlog like the next few days in New York and like the flight and stuff tomorrow. So yeah, should be a fun one. Oh, these are some of my new things that I never got a chance to show you. These four are from Lily Silk. I've had some stuff from them in the past that I've absolutely loved and I know lots of you have bought them as well on my recommendation and you've given me really, really good feedback. So I'm excited to show you these. Um, I've actually worn all of these over Christmas and my mom has also worn the black one and I think she's like begging me to leave her this one. It's so pretty, like look at that detail on the collar. Like just a simple white shirt, but it really just like spruces it up and this is 100% silk, like the quality is amazing. Um, So I have this white one, I'll try this on for you quickly. And then this black one is really cool too because the collar, like this ties in over here, I'll show it to you on, but it's just a really nice detail, like it spruces up something plain and then you can also take that off as well if you didn't want to have it and you wanted to just you know have your like really good staple black silk shirt so that's amazing and then these two are so comfortable they're 100 cashmere really really good quality i didn't actually have a white one um so that's why I got this one and I wore this under like lots of my coats now when we were going for lunches and out and about over Christmas and it was really comfy and then I love this one. I actually bought a really similar colour trousers to this so I was wearing it with that and just black jeans and everything. Really nice and the quality is amazing. So I'll just do a very very quick try on of these and then I'll show you a few more bits too. Okay so this is the white shirt, really really nice on, I just have it tucked in but you could obviously wear it out as well or like with different kind of trousers, this would also work with like something more casual, I just love like how soft it is on the skin and then obviously this beautiful detail, I'll do a little close up um, so you can see and the sleeves as well, it's really really gorgeous. And then next is this black one. I love this one too. As I said, my mom wore this over Christmas. She loves it. I think it's just this detail really just adds something and you can take it off so you can wear it as a plain shirt and then you have a really nice gold button detail as well. This is just such a good staple to have in your wardrobe. If you don't have a plain black, silk or white shirt, definitely look, look into the two of these because they're just something you can wear over and over again, like even on their own or with something over them. They're just brilliant pieces to have. Okay, now we're on to the cashmere sweaters, polo necks. These are gorgeous. Again, they feel really soft on the skin, like really comfy. And this is like nice and loose. I don't like when they're too tight into you. And this is a size small. Like if you wanted it to be even bigger and more oversized, you could just size up. Like I could have gone to a medium and it would have been a little bit more roomy. Um, but this is lovely for like talking into things and like inside coats and jackets and stuff. Really like it. This is the white one. I'll quickly show you the other color. The other colour, it's kind of like an oatmeal, um, in between like a grey and a brown, again, lovely and soft on the skin, really nice fit. Um, I actually love both colours, I thought I'd wear the white more, but I've actually been wearing this one lots as well. I didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe in like a thin version, so yeah, a great one to have too. I'll leave links to those four down below in the description box so you can have a look if you want. Um, as I said, really nice quality, I have lots of stuff from them already, so yeah, if you're looking for some nice kind of investment bits now for the new year and you want to just buy like one good 
polo neck or one good silk shirt, I definitely recommend them. Just quickly, a few more things. I'm gonna just show you the mirror here because it's easier. I wore this Christmas Eve and I absolutely love it. It's this really nice like deep kind of green color. It's actually a cardigan though, so I'm wearing it back to front and just having the back open. So you could wear this like the other way around as well with the top inside it, but I like the high neck and the shoulders this way. So yeah, I really like it. This is from um, River Isle, I can leave a link below. Okay, are you ready for some serious glam? I just moved this mural here so you can really see it in the light coming this way because it comes in here. So it's hard to show you um, the other way. This is gorgeous. It's like a really rich brown color. Um, lovely design, pockets, so warm and cozy. Fab piece, I'll link it below. Just to show you, yeah, you can see it a little bit better actually in that light like look at that color absolutely stunning i feel like brown has just been having such a moment recently um and i'm loving it i think it, well personally i think it goes nice with red hair but i think it suits lots of different skin tones and hair colors oh it's fab i just kept the sequence on <laughs> inside i'm not letting go of christmas fancy dressing yet clearly and then one last clothing piece this like really cozy um, more casual cardigan, but look, it has these really nice kind of diamante button details, and this is so soft, and it's actually quite warm. Um, obviously, you could wear something inside it, but if you wanted to just wear this with jeans or something plain, it would definitely keep you warm, and I love the kind of puff on the sleeve, and then it goes tighter at the bottom. A really cute piece, and I think this comes in a few other colors as well, so I can link them below for you. Actually, one last piece. Oh, sorry, stop focusing. I already have these packed, but look at these amazing shoes I found as well. Um, these are definitely more of like a summer shoe, but I think these are going to be so fab um, for this upcoming like spring summer now. These look way more expensive than I think, like than they actually were. I think they look really, really good. The quality feels good. I tried them on. They fit really nice. I got a size four UK. So I'm usually like between a four and a five. So I size down to the four and they fit perfect. Okay, we're en route now to Clarity. Helen's driving. Very random, but oh my God, these are unreal. We just finished the whole bag in about two minutes. I did not know tiring <laughs> And I love things like this. Like, oh, I knew they existed, but I haven't had them in like, I'd say 10 years. They are one of the best. Delicious. Oh my God, I want to get more when we go to Clarity. But we're just waiting for our COVID test now. And we're going to meet mom because she was in there as well. Maybe get a coffee beforehand. And then, yeah, we're more or less good to go then. Are you packed, Kale? Yes, I am. Mom has been like begging Kaylin to pack it in I'm back. So I can. Wait, like. my thing's going to go one second. But yeah, basically, she like is Kaylin's kind of personal assistant for. Her cat. Don't even days. start. You know, she, she acts like your personal assistant. Our I do is things really, by myself. Um, she's very controlling and in a nice way. <laughs> But like, I like to be quite packing to the like, last She's minute. a bit OCD and so am I. Like we, we're really particular about things and like we love to be like kind of organized. Whereas Kevin's like a last minute. I like to pack last minute. Just I just come. like to do it. But yeah. Always you always get way. there in the end. I always get on fine, but mom just does not believe. <laughs> mom gets a bit like horrified that she leaves it to the day before. Like mom wants her to pack like literally. Last week. Yeah, last two week. Ago, two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just don't bother unpacking. Uh, honestly. So yeah, we're looking forward to get back, new, new year, new routine, because it is hard as well to like get into a routine here. I just, it was different last year because we knew we were staying for like a we're couple of months. But we're still in ho holiday mode now, we're still obviously eating very unhealthy. <laughs> and like we haven't really been working out or anything because yeah, the weather has been that. really rainy. So we're looking forward to getting back into that now, health kind of uh, routine when we get back. I actually might do a vlog and share like how we kind of are slowly going to get back in. We're not going to go too crazy i've already booked my classes for this have week. you yeah i can't wait to get back oh my god i was gonna say that i was gonna just like do like pilates no, you and know what this if week. you do that you're just you're not gonna do it like you're better so. off to jump right into the deep end yeah i honestly don't think i'd be able to do a rumble class right now like. but i, I say rumble till friday and i do like two what pilates, did you book for a wednesday pilates. reading yeah. i just okay. like i know I myself that. i'll put it off and i'll put it off and i'll procrastinate yeah so i just need to do it you're good for going to classes i feel like i kind of ease myself in and then i'll go to classes next week i think once i can get back to healthy eating even this week that'll be like a good start like Definitely. one thing at a time 
that's yeah, why I'm a big believer in. Yeah, I've only got to do like two classes. Yeah, small steps. Um, so yeah, that's our little update. We're going to tell you now on Vlogmore when we get out. Okay, we met mom, switched cars, got some coffee in the world. It's so good. This probably is one of the best coffees I've had since I came home. Just iced Americano with some almond milk. Okay, we got more. Some bits for the plane. Mm -hmm. I bought my boyfriend a cake. <laughs> Tell me if you're watching. How romantic. And they say romance is dead. <laughs> Okay, back home, had our Indian. Oh my God, it is literally the best. If ever you come to Clarny, go there. We mainly get takeaway. Um, you can sit in there. We used to in the past before, I think it's kind of busier in the summer, but the takeaway is so good. I got veg biryani. Oh my God, I want breath from the stairs. That just shows how unfit I am. There'll be no takeaways next week. <laughs> but if you do come to Clarny, I get, I get the veg biryani. Kellen gets the tikka masala. My mom gets veg brownie and our dad gets the korma, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we all love all those dishes. Um, but anyway, okay, first of all, I need to take a deep breath and then I need to get finishing my packing so I can go to bed early. We're leaving at like, I think 4 a.m. on the phone. Um, so yeah, lots to do. Guys, what does this court remind you of? <laughs> Erica, I'm not for entertainment. Does it remind you of a duvet? This like she just got the duvet without the du cold, duvet cover and put it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, Kellen has voted to book in an extra bag. No, I didn't. You voted that. Mom, the poor thing is down here trying to close her other bag. Hey, Erica, just go away <laughs> from it, please. She's very stressed. I'm not stressed. It's just if you had four cases, you fill it. How stressed are you, Mom, on a I'm scale of one to ten? Very hard. Who's the more stressful daughter? Both of you. Are no, I'm good. I'm packed. Okay, you said you have stuff to put into that bag mm. too. Yeah, I was ready to go. No, a couple of things. Woohoo! Like I never have this issue. It's only Ireland. Only Ireland. I think you add a bit of stress, Mom. No, I'm kidding. You add stress <laughs> because if I had four cases, you would still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the next day. We're all checked in. Kellen got our Starbucks. We're just waiting to do pre clearance. Okay, we just boarded. What do you It's actually um, a really nice day as well. Can you see? Those blue skies just wouldn't be leaving. We're excited to just relax now for I think it's going to be like seven or eight hours. Um, watch some movies. Should be nice. And we are back in New York City. Okay, we are back to routine, to reality. It's been a couple of days um, since I got back and I'm just kind of settling back in. I did all my unpacking. I'm kind of feeling myself again. <laughs> I got my nails done. You know, I think like when I was at home, obviously it was so nice, but it's really hard to get back into routine when I'm there. Um, so I feel like my January is kind of only starting now, like mid January. I've been really good at doing like my morning routine the last couple of days. Um, I've been going to bed at like nine o'clock, which is very early for me, but it's one of my kind of new year goals to go to bed earlier and get up earlier. I used to do that all the time before, kind of like pre-COVID, I had a really good routine and then COVID just kind of changed all that, I think. I don't know why, I think I went in and out of routine a lot during COVID. So one of my main goals this year is to just get really solid with my routine. So I've been going to bed at like nine o'clock and getting up at half five every morning since I got back, even like over the weekend, which is, very different for me, but I feel great. Like I feel like I have more energy. I'm still getting like my seven, eight hours sleep 
because I'm going to bed earlier. Um, but yeah, I can talk more about that in future videos when I get into the swing of it more. I'm taking like my supplements, like all the January things really, but like I'm really determined like for it to not just be a January thing. It's like a lifestyle change I'm making. Like I don't believe in diets or fads or just short term things like quick shortcuts of doing things i really love to create habits and changes that will last for as long as i can so i'll talk more about that that's like kind of the boring stuff but i'm back anyway and i've just been playing with some makeup actually i just did some very quick like natural makeup Cheryl tilbury sent me a new package and i just couldn't wait to try it i've heard so much about this new foundation they're launching and it seriously lives up to the hype let me bring it closer so you can see look at that glowiness and coverage like that's two pumps on my beauty blender a little bit of concealer and like that's like the really nice coverage it, it gives me um i use the shade for warm i have tan on so just for reference that matches up really nicely if you also use strawberry mousse the tan i love and adore i'll link it down below i've used it for years now um so i always have to find the foundation <laughs> that suits that and that is for warm in this new one it's called charlotte's beautiful skin foundation i can link it for you as well and then i just quickly kind of straightened my hair flicked out the ends i'm really tempted to get the dyson air wrap i know i'm about 400 years late to it but i've kind of had like the same way of doing my hair for a long time and it's just worked so i never really looked into it but i just keep seeing tutorials and people's hair looks so good and one of my friends i was at dinner with her over the weekend and she had used it and her hair just looked so healthy and beautiful so i might look into getting it if you have it let me know in the comments if you like it if you use it if it's worth it like tell me it all because i want to hear from you like i don't want to just watch tutorials online and stuff like influencers i actually want to hear from like my followers if you use it as well so let me know down below and then i'm pretty casual Kellen's coming over soon we're going to shoot some stuff today get back into the swing of it but i just have this new um loungewear set that i got from something navy it's really comfy actually i got the it comes in a cream and a gray but i chose the gray one and i have a small on in both i'll show you in the mirror how it looks i'm very cozy this morning but yeah i just wanted to check in back in new york back for another year hopefully you're all settling in okay and kind of getting back into the swing of it i know it can be hard and like i never ever want you to come to my videos and be like oh my gosh she has it all together like she's doing this she's doing that i don't have it together trust me when i say that is not the case but i do think that just like small steps every day or just picking one habit to try and start in the week like it might just be getting out for a walk every day for one week and then the next week you can bring in a different kind of um goal so the next week then might be you know making your lunch at home every day or eating clean and then you could add that on to the walk you know so just take it easy and don't be too hard on yourself because january is a hard month anyway and i just think you have to do it at your own pace and if you're seeing people online working out like on january 1st that always baffles me by the way like i just don't think january 1st is the day for <laughs> actually starting i think you have to wait until a couple of days later um but just don't be like discouraged by that because everyone does their own thing and like i'm about a like nearly a weekend now to trying some new things and like they haven't been perfect and i definitely have to keep working on it if i actually want to keep them going so i'll keep you updated on that in a very real way and i'll tell you what's working and what's not working and the ups and downs and and just any habits that I'm doing that I'm seeing great results from I'll let you know in case you want to try them definitely in the last week sleep has been the best one like I've noticed such a difference in my energy levels everything really like my mood as well so maybe you could try sleep this week or next week and see if that makes a difference for you so anyway sorry I'm waffling I could talk about routines and all that for so long but let me show you the this lounge set I really like it this is it i have the small in both um my trusty ugg slippers which never come off me yeah i just like it it's a nice one i i kind of want to just like go through my stuff this month and i have a lot of like mix and match loungewear but i think 
I want to just go through them all and actually just have like two or three good sets instead of loads of random bits so if you're also kind of in that mood to kind of declutter I suppose this is a nice set if you want to look into it they have they have nice bits um so yeah I'll link this below for you too okay kiln is here I'm gonna make some lunch next um I had a little bit of soup but I'm kind of hungry again well this is kind of like more of a snack I'm just gonna have some crackers like avocado so I'll show you what I make presentation isn't the prettiest but basically I'm doing two of these I get them in Trader Joe's they're actually really nice I think Whole Foods have a similar one they're like a seeded cracker bread and then a full avocado one half on each side then a bit of black pepper and then I'm gonna put on my fave Ballymaloo relish on top I had like a sweet potato and carrot soup earlier but I'm kind of hungry again and we're going to rumble this evening so I need a bit of something else to fill me up. So yeah, I'm gonna have this now and then get back to work. Oh, and my new favorite thing is cucumbers in my water. <laughs> I know it's not a new thing, but it honestly makes me drink so much more water. And I got these glasses um, on Amazon and then my favorite glass straws. Okay, a few hours later, we are now finished work. It's just starting to set the sun. Um, the sun is just starting to set. We are going to rumble. It's my first one back. Can it's your second? Second. I'm so nervous. We need to leave. We're gonna be late. Okay. Um. I just wanted to let you know before we go. I'll try and vlog a bit of the way, and then I'll check in when we come back. Wish me luck. Okay. We're kind of rushing because we have to go to the post office huh? on the way, and walking in the is like I don't even know how to describe it. This is how far behind I am. I'm literally walking <laughs> as fast as I can. I'm gonna be out of breath before I even get to the class. Okay, I survived the class. I'm home, I had dinner. I just made some Saqqara tea. I love their tea so much. I usually have their sleep tea, but I'm just out. So I'm having one of their detox teas and they're all like caffeine free, so they're good before bed. And then I'm gonna read a little bit. This is what I'm currently reading. Indistractable by Nur Ayal. Yeah, that's the author. It's pretty good. Yeah, like there's parts with that um, are really good, and then there's parts with that I'm a little bit kind of bored by a little bit. But there is some good bits in it. I'll give like a proper review once I finish. And I also ordered two more books this week, so we're gonna have a good reading year this year, and I'll share any good ones with you. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be asleep in like the grand total of 20 minutes. I'm always scared the first sip is going to be too hot. Um, but thank you so much for watching. It's great to be back vlogging another year. I'm excited for videos this year. I feel like I'm more excited than I was last year. I don't know why. I just have a good feeling about um, YouTube and everything this year. So hopefully you'll stick around. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Lots more to come. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.